there is this issue in the design community where let's say people who want to get into design or juniors or sometimes even seniors lack UX portfolio cases. You know, you might have a case or two or maybe you have a bootcamp case or you have passion project case, but then you're like, what else can I do? Because maybe your current workplace work is under NDA and you cannot showcase. In that case, I always recommend to find a side project to help out some sort of local business to solve an issue and make at least a research project. And so if you're one of those people who struggle to come up with ideas or struggle to come up with a topic, maybe of a local business or someone who would benefit from your services so that you can actually add to your UX portfolio or product design portfolio or user research portfolio, you name it. There is this tool, or should I say a website, and if you can see on my screen right now, recent discovery and quite recent publish, which is called Product Design Challenge. You can find it at productdesign.tips. I think there is a deadline. As you can see, you can start at July 22nd, finish at late September. It doesn't really matter the time frames. Maybe you want to participate in this challenge, which is great. You can find a team, you can join a Slack community, which we have, and then kind of like a day by day investing hour or two, you can participate and make that real or at least pseudo real, you know, case study for your portfolio. However, if you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. What I would do and be kind of like a cheeky in a way, I would go here and just literally screenshot these actual real problems, real world problems, which is exactly what you need in your UX case studies is to answer real user need. And as you can see, we split it into commuting, diet, groceries, household, shopping, travel. We take just one of them, like diet, for example, something I'm passionate about. As you can see, it's all about, let's say, cattle and the greenhouse gases and how to reduce that. We give you specific metrics, specific percentages of why it's not great, what's the impact, and then we give you ideas of how you could do that, how you could solve it. Now, if I were you, I would literally copy everything you have here and then pick the one you can approach personally. So for example, if diet or commuting resonates with you, and it's very actual in your local community, because let's say, um, here an example is about the US mostly, even if it's global, still, maybe commuting is much more relevant, may because maybe you're living in Middle East somewhere where, you know, transport is much more hectic than let's say rest of the world, or let's say Asia, which is common, pick one of those subsets, for example, here is almost ideating help people to use gasoline cars in cities less often. Now imagine if you live, for example, in Dubai or Middle East somewhere where gas is, you know, king, maybe this is something you can ideate and then engage with actual people in that local community, user research the topic, interview them, do some sort of discovery. Majority of Western world is super overweight and obese. And that's fact. Everybody knows that even if, it, if it's a touchy subject, perhaps if you live in a Western world, this is something you could target because you know, you have a neighbor, maybe you have a family member, maybe you have someone in a community who struggles with that document everything along the way, you can make it a user research project, a product design project, you can make it a general UX project where you go end to end, and then even maybe prototype, try to implement, maybe find a developer who would help you out. And then you can log it. And then you're going to come up with some sort of case study, as long as you document everything along the way. Again, I would tie in into local issues into local problems, something you can action directly and talk to real people in real life, I would go beyond that product design and UI work, think about more things, maybe it's a service you're going to design, perhaps it's just a discovery you're going to document about user behaviors, customer behaviors, human behaviors, document an end to end life cycle of a typical consumer behaviors and what it leads to and make almost like a mini study for your portfolio, which showcases how you took, you know, the big issue, they verge into a lot of different findings, idea it converge into one idea and then flesh it out. And I wouldn't again, I wouldn't limit to product design or UI design, because that's irrelevant. What's relevant is to get started on something meaningful, which you actually can carry on for longer term, because this challenge only lasts and as you can see, it's already started. It lasts only a month, basically. And then you have a lot of different assessments, results, etc. And then it probably carries on into the next uh, set of challenges. Pick one of the issues, explore, apply locally, talk to actual people, document it. And I can assure you, if you can actually carry it on and you commit to this, you're going to come out of a case. Maybe it's something you're going to go and do behind the scenes 
continuously again and again and again so that your portfolio shines or maybe you can make a blog out of that and document everything and that then access your portfolio since these are the cases which are not contractual it's something you run yourself it's passion project it's your self-directed work and you define the standards nothing is keeping you down and it's the best place to shine because you can make it as professional as high of a standard as you can using all the methods you think are appropriate engaging the users you think are appropriate hustling for it and so go after it as per usual give thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to this channel leave a comment down below and on that note i'll see you next time